Hey guys, welcome to my channel Linux King. My name is Salman Francis and today we are going to continue our videos of RHC E8 studies and today is part number seven and in this video we will take a look how to take backup with Playbox in Ansible. So without further ado, let's start and before I deep dive into the video, I would really appreciate if you guys could comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like the video, let me know. If you don't like the video, let me know so I can try to make it much better. As always, I have created some notes. So let's start. Backup using Ansible. So in this video, we will take a look how to perform backup using Ansible playbook. And let's say we would like to copy HTML folder to our main controller node Dragon. And if you remember, we are using three machines here. Dragon as our main controller node, Raptor and T-Rex are our nodes or hosts. Uh, we will create a file in T-Rex with the name of T-Rex.txt and Raptor.txt in our Raptor host, like two different files in two different hosts. And this way we could easily understand the working backup system. As we already know that T-Rex and Raptor are part of web server groups, so let's copy some data and let's create a file called backup-archive.yaml. So let me open Dragon. And if you remember, we are in our LAMP working directory because this is the main directory where we are keeping all the files. And we also have our inventory file here. And you can see here that Raptor and TRX are part of web server group. Okay, perfect. So let me create a file and we will call it backup-archive.yaml. So here, uh, press enter with three dashes, then dash, space, and name. What we are going to do here, we will call it, let's take some backup, or you can call it anything. Hosts are our web servers group. Uh, become true. Yes, we would like to become a power user because we are performing something, some administrative tasks. Okay, and the tasks involved are, first thing is, name starts from here, and we will call it taking backup of slash var www-html of web servers. All right, and the module which we are going to use is called archive, and we are going to archive something, and what is this? We would like where we would like what is the path and you know that the path is uh, sorry about that we need to have two spaces one two because it's under archive and the path is var www slash html so this is the folder we would like to backup okay what is the destination so destination is somewhere where we would like to save it and we will save it in home that slash ansible ansible slash and we will call it website.tar.gz okay you can call it anything by the way so it's home slash hands ansible web and you already know that we have a user ansible so of course it has home directory with the same name okay what next so who is the owner Owner is of course Ansible for this home directory and group is Ansible as well. For this archive, I'm sorry. And the format is going to be GZ. So what it's going to do is it's going to create a backup of this folder and everything in it. And it's going to keep uh, save it in as website.tar.gz. Okay, please do remember that this folder should not be empty. Otherwise, there's it's not going to show you anything. So let's save it. And before saving it, let me end it with three dots. It's optional, not necessary, but just to make it that we are good students. So now we are going to go into our Raptor and T-Rex hosts and make sure that we have something. Okay, we do have uh, raptor.txt. Hi, I'm a lizard. And T 
T-Rex. Hi, I am a dino. So we have these this these two files along with this at pings.net and pings.com folder and images. So what we expect is that it's going to copy everything uh, from this server as well as from this server. But where it's going to copy, it's not going to copy here in uh, right at the moment in this our main controller node, but it's going to copy first or create a backup in their local machine. So where it's going to make the backup, if we go back to our backup archive, it's going to create in their home directories, okay? So let's see if they, we have something in their home directories. Slash home slash Ansible. Yes, we do have because I have tested it, so I'm going to remove it. Now we don't have this. And also I'm going to remove it from our Raptor. All right, so let me minimize this and run playbook, uh, sorry, Ansible playbook. And inventory, I'm going to use inventory and it's going to use backup. If everything is okay, it's going to run everything. Okay, perfect. So now if we go to our Ansible uh, on T-Rex home. Now we can see that website.tar.gz is there and which we just removed and in Ansible home of Raptor we can see that website.tar.gz also exists. So perfect we have successfully taken backup of our HTML folder into our local machines. Okay so to check the content we can also use uh, or we can tar it uh, we can unzip it uh, with tar so tar xzvf so it's going to extract the gz format verbose and the file name is website.tar.gz if i uh, unzip it over here you can see that it has created uh, an html folder actually i should have removed this html as well so let me remove it now we don't have anything so let's tar again now it has created html folder and in html folder you can see that raptor has the raptor image and in t-rex if i tar xzvf and cd into html it will have t-rex perfect so now what we need to do is we need to fetch this to our controller node or some remote host and in order to do that we are going to do something we are going to add something to the script or we can create a new script so let's take a look in our, in our nodes Okay, and how we can ex uh, accomplish the task? To unarchive, un we have we can use either module of untar in Ansible or we can use tar xvf as we have already seen. Now to bring the backup to remote machine in our case to our Ansible controller, we will create another playbook. So let's fetch some data. So what we are going to do is we are going to create another script or playbook which will fetch data to our Ansible controller. And let's create that. And destination is going to be again in Ansible. So I just want to check if I already have this. Okay, I am in home Ansible, so I don't have it here. So let's go to our opt lamp working folder and create one script and let's call it fetch uh, dot yaml or backup fetch and three dashes enter space name and it's going to 
uh, fetching data from nodes and hosts web servers become true tasks so what the tasks are first let's define the task we will call it taking backup of slash var slash www slash html of uh, from raptor and t-rex or web servers whatever you want to call it and then uh, what are we going to do first thing we are going to use the module that's going to be archive and then the path is again going to be two with two dashes path slash var slash www html so first this uh, script this fetch script it's going to take backup in the local machines and then it's going to fetch data from those local machines to our host so it's a complete script okay then destination where it's going to save it's going to be home slash ansible slash let's call it uh, my web backup dot tar dot gz so we can differentiate it and then uh, owner is going to be ansible and group is going to be ansible format is going to be gz so this is all the same script which we have already written earlier but now what we are going to do is we are going to do the fetching of this data So to do that, we will use the module called fetch. And for this, we need to mention source. And source is going to be, of course, home slash ansible. And um, my web backup dot tar dot gz and destination where it's going to save it's going to save website backup dash and here we are going to use built-in variable which is inventory underscore hostname so it will save the backup with website backup dash raptor something or as per the hostname and dot tar dot gz so if it finds the hostname as Raptor, it will uh, save backup as Raptor. If it will find hostname as T-Rex, it will save data as website backup dash T-Rex dot tar dot DZ. So that's the purpose of this. Okay, now important thing, flat. What does flat means? Uh, you know what, let me show you without flat first, what will happen and then you will get a good understanding what flat means. So let's, check if we have anything in our destination and destination is going to be this current area so we don't have anything with the name of website so let's run our playbook ansible dash playbook dash i inventory and we have saved it as uh, backup fetch dot yaml if, okay, there is a issue and it's format. Geez, let's check what's Okay, it should come under this. Okay. 
Oh, my bad. Sorry about that. It should come under name. So you have to be very careful with these uh, spaces. Okay, so we were not successful. So what's the issue? Um, MyWeb tar.z or something. Okay. So here's the problem. We forgot to add G here. GZ. Okay. Okay, perfect. We were able to create a backup. Let's check. Uh, let's go to our machines and check if backup has been created here. So in home Ansible. Yep, my back, uh, my web backup is there. And also in our T-Rex machine, if we go And my web backup is here as well. But what about our server this time? Because we fetched the data. So to check that, if I press uh, type ls, you can see that it has created two directories here. Uh, website backup dash raptor dot tar dot gz and website backup dash t-rex dot tar dot gz. However, if these are the directories actually, these are not the archives. So if we go to these directories, respective directories you will find that the name of the host then home directory then ansible and then my backup uh, and that the then the backup uh, okay the archive that's the uh, that's what if we don't mention flat do however let me remove them or delete them and let's see what if we mention the option of flat how it's going to solve this issue for us because this this is you can see this print working directory it's going to uh, put that backup in our website dash raptor dot r dot gz it's going to create a directory with that name then raptor then home then ansible and then the backup so to simplify the things I'm going to remove this website backup from our host and then I'm going to go back in our backup fetch.yaml and this time I'm going to mention flat. And this time if I run this script, let's see what will happen or the playbook. So there's one change, however this time everything, it's not going to change anything here because it has already, um, Ansible is, it works in such a way that if there's no change, it's not going to make any changes. So it has completed the backup, however over here, you can see that now that flat did not created any specific directories, but it created uh, the backup directly into our working directory. So this is how uh, flat works if you mention the flat uh, this option is yes then it's going to create a backup or archive in the working directory and if you mention flat is equals to no then it's going to create specific folders in the controller node or anywhere you are fetching the data so guys i hope you have a better understanding of how to archive data or backup data using playbook so thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like us on Facebook. So see you in our next video. Until then, goodbye and be safe. God bless.